this is Mr. Burgess. Today we're going to talk about solving one and two step equations. So just a quick thing to point out that for your bail work you're going to be solving a couple of little um, integer problems where you're going to be adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. And so uh, if you don't know how to do that you might want to do a little reviewing on that. But the easiest thing is to grab a calculator and just type them in. So 65 plus 23, which is a negative, and that's going to equal, oh, I've, I've typed the wrong number. So I put 1 plus negative 23. Let's try that again. So 65 plus uh, 23 negative, and that equals 42. So using your calculator, go through these integer problems and make sure you understand how to how to do those because many of the equations we're going to solve require you to do adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing integers or for that matter decimals and rational numbers. Okay, so let's get into what we're talking about. In an equation, any letter can be used as a variable. For example, x, y, m, a, z, b, any letter really can be used in an equation as a variable or a placeholder for a number. The goal in solving an equation is to get the variable of choice by itself isolated on one side of the equation or equal sign. This process of isolating the variable um, is called solving the equation. That's kind of funny, huh? All right, so there's a golden rule for algebra. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the same thing to the other side. It's kind of like the old idea if you're riding a teeter-totter with your friend, if you're balanced, well, if one of you uh, changes the weight distribution, then the teeter-totter will be out of balance. And so you have to do the same thing to the other side of the teeter-totter, or it won't be level anymore. So to solve equations, we use what we call inverse operations that undo each other. For example, if I want to uh, want to undo an equation that has some subtraction in it, I have to do the opposite of that, which is addition. Um, sometimes when we solve an equation, we are isolating the variable on one side of the variable, usually the left side. Sometimes we look at this process or this other side of the equal sign as some great mystery, like they did in the, the movie The Great Wall when they were looking at uh, the Great Wall of China and what was going on on the other side. But really, in reality, solving an equation is a simple step-by-step -step process. So here's a couple of examples. Some equations only take one step, like the next few examples I'm going to show you. So I want to isolate x on the left side of the equal sign here. So I'm going to get myself a, a marker. I'm going to put a line here representing the equal sign or the Great Wall of China. In order to get x isolated, I have to remove this plus 5. Well, the inverse operation of adding 5 is minusing 5. So on both sides of this equal sign, I'm going to subtract 5. That will leave me with just x isolated on the left side. A negative 1 subtract 5 is negative 6. So that would be my answer on the first example problem. The second one. This time the variable and the number we're going to move is on the right side of the equation, so we're going to have to draw our Great Wall of China. We recognize the opposite of adding 14 is minusing 14. So 15 minus 14 would end up being just 1. And these 14s cancel out, so that just leaves me with x equals 1. All right, let's keep on moving. We don't have a lot of time here. So let's look at this one. We've got 3 times some number y equals 21. To undo times by 3, we're going to divide by 3. Now, we've done these before. We probably saw these in 7th grade, so these shouldn't be totally new. But when we divide 3 by 3, we get 1. So 1y equals 21 divided by 3, which is 7. <clears throat> Great, keep it going. All right, here we have negative 50 equals negative u over 9. Now, whenever you have a 
variable by itself like this. Put a 1 in front of it and it kind of helps you out. So in this case, we're dividing, we're either multiplying u by negative 1 ninth or we're just dividing u by negative 9. So to solve this, the opposite of dividing by 9, or negative 9 here, is multiplying by negative 9. So we're multiplying by negative 9 over 1. Because we're just dividing by this number. To divide by a fraction, you flip and multiply. So when you do that, negative 9 times negative 50 is a positive 450. And these negative 9s cancel each other out. And so that just leaves me with what you would have to be in order for this equation to be a true statement. You would have to be negative 450. Okay, in this case, we're multiplying w by negative 4. So if I divide by negative 4, 16 divided by negative 4 is just 4. 4 divided by negative uh, 4 is um, 1 w. 4, 4 equals 1. So, or excuse me, 4 equals W. So you can just divide out the 1, and there you go. All right, how about this one? Well, we need to move the negative 5 across the this great wall of China, or equal sign. So to do that, I'm just going to add 5 to both sides, because that's the inverse operation of subtracting 5 out front there, which cancels that out. So now in this problem, I'm left with G equals 6 plus... 5, which equals 11. And if I think about that, negative 5 plus 11 is, in fact, 6. Okay, how about V divided by 8 equals negative 5? Well, what's the opposite of dividing by 8? Well, that's just multiplying by 8. So the 8s cancel each other out. I get v equals negative 5 times 8, which ends up being negative 40. Negative 40. I almost put 44, but 5 times 8 is 40. Okay. Some equations take two steps to solve. So in order to do that, you undo the add or subtract from both sides first. Then you undo the multiply or divide from both sides. And remember what you need to do for one side, you have to do to the other. And uh, just for the fun of it, you might want to click on this link about uh, the movie uh, from Top Gun Maverick. They talk about two steps for, for them to accomplish their mission. And we have two steps to accomplish solving these two-step equations. All right, so we're going to undo the addition or subtraction. So to get x isolated, we need to undo this addition that's by it. So you subtract 24. And negative 36 minus 24, what is that going to equal? Negative 36 minus 24 is going to equal negative 60. I want to use them calculators again. Then when I divide by 5, I end up with x equals negative 12. Okay, so x equals negative 12. Move on to the next problem. Oh, 3x minus 10 equals 14. So let's add 10 to both sides. Do you remember these from before? Are these new to you? This, have you seen these? So we get 3x equals... And then on the other side of our equal sign, our great wall of China, we have 24. Divide by 3. And our final answer is x equals 8. Awesome. Okay, here's another one. 17 equals 3x plus 2. So I'm going to start by minusing 2. That gives me 15 equals 3x. And see, we're halfway done with getting x isolated. Now we're just going to divide by 3. 
and we're going to end up with x x equals 15 divided by 3, which is 5. Okay, good work. Just keep it going. We're getting close. Now, when you're doing a problem like this, whenever you see a variable by itself, just put a 1 in front of it like this. And then solve the equation. So to do that, you got 8 minus 1x equals 12. And you're going to subtract 8 from both sides. And you'll end up with minus 1x equals 12 minus 8, which is just 4. And when you divide by negative 1, so dividing by negative 1, you just end up with x equals x equals negative Four. Okay. So how about this one? Well, we're going to put a 1 in front of the x. So we know we're dealing with negative 1x. Then we're going to add 5 to both sides. So we'll have negative 1x equals uh, 11 plus 5 is 16. And then all I have to do is divide by negative 1, and x is going to equal negative 16. Okay. We're getting down to the last two examples. So I just wanted to page 4 to make sure. Okay, so here's one that we've got a we've got a variable by itself up here, or x actually being divided by four. So if you want, you can put a one in front of it. It's not totally necessary in this case because you've got a four underneath it. So we'll add five, and you end up with one fourth r equals two. So if we divide by one fourth. 2 divided by 1 fourth equals 8. So in this case, r is going to equal 8. 8 divided by 8 divided by fourths gives you 2. Or 1 fourth of 8 is 2. So your assignment is on Alex 1 and 2 step equations. Thank you very much.